DeMar DeRozan is the unluckiest player in the NBA. Toronto grabs this young, fiery talent, DeRozan, and the whole city's buzzing. They're thinking, this is our guy, the dude who's gonna take us all the way to the top. And let me tell you, DeRozan was all in. He was the Raptors' main man for nine solid seasons, pouring his heart and soul onto the court. Now, DeRozan's time in Toronto wasn't just good, it was legendary. We're talking five playoff runs that had fans on the edge of their seats. Every season, DeRozan stepped up, showing off those slick moves and killer shots. He had this way of playing that was just electric, kind of stuff that gets you jumping out of your seat. But here's where it gets really juicy. Three times in those playoff battles, the Raptors came face to face with none other than LeBron James. The Toronto Raptors lost to the Cleveland Cavaliers in three straight postseasons between the 2015 to 16 and 2017 to 18 seasons. The first of those three losses came in the Eastern Conference Finals, the only time DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry took the team that deep in the postseason. Let's play Full Court Baby, your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics on and off the court. There are a lot of rough things to say about DeMar DeRozan's departure from the Raptors and how it all went down. For one, he was told he wasn't going to be traded and then got traded anyway in what seemed like an absurd end to a great era. For two, there's the thinking behind parting ways with perhaps the most loyal player Toronto has ever had. DeRozan gave nine years of solid service and said, I am Toronto, after re-signing. Many, including DeMar himself, felt that should count for something. But the NBA is a business and DeRozan had deficiencies that perhaps held the Raptors back from their full potential. So much to his anguish, he got traded to the Spurs for Kawhi Leonard. The rest is history. The DeRozan transition wasn't as smooth as he would have liked, even if it was something that had to be done. Time after time, it seemed like DeRozan's failings became present in the postseason. His production was erratic, he couldn't land a three ball, and his defense was often missing. But to think of DeRozan only in this way, while discounting his career record, and the team first mantra he thrived on would be short-sighted. You would also be missing much of DeRozan's narrative and what he amounted in Toronto. But DeRozan felt every bump of the road like a human being. He took the losses hard and his personal slumps even harder. We could sit here and conclude that DeRozan was not a good player because he simply went missing during the playoffs, that those low moments eclipsed the nine years of toil and good times. But that would be unfair because without his day-to-day -day production and stoic leadership, who's to say the Raptors would have even made it as far as they did? Coach Greg Popovich helped his game reach new heights following his trade for Toronto to San Antonio in 2018. In three seasons with the Spurs, DeRozan posted 21.6 points per game while leading the team assists with 6.2 per game, along with 49% shooting. Those are solid numbers for any NBA player, but for DeRozan, he feels his play in San Antonio was ignored, making him feel non-existent. You know, I genuinely think he's one of the unluckiest guys in the NBA. Here Rosen gets traded to the San Antonio Spurs, right? He's there for three whole seasons, but somehow it feels like he's just there. Like he's not making the splash everyone expected. And the exposure, forget about it. It's like he's playing in some secret NBA league. The Spurs games with you Rosen, hardly any national broadcasts. It's like the guys playing in the shadows away from the big spotlight. In an interview with Old Man and the Three Podcast, he rose and spoke about his time with the Spurs, admitting he struggled with confidence during those three seasons and the team's lack of national recognition bothered him. During the interview, DeRozan reiterated that he grew as a Spur player and had outstanding performances. However, it was not enough for him and feels he did not receive the recognition because he was playing in San Antonio. Despite upping his game, especially on offense, DeRozan doesn't even get a nod for the NBA All-Star. Can you believe that? He's out there, polishing his skills, scoring like it's nobody's business, but no all-star game for him. It's like a slap in the face, honestly. The team also made the postseason once in 2019 versus Denver. That was something he grew accustomed to with the Raptors before the trade to the Spurs. To his credit, he was a professional throughout his time in San Antonio, served in a mentor role for the young players, and never demanded a trade. He also did not leave the Spurs empty-handed once his contract was set to end. Team Mark DeRozan's time with the San Antonio Spurs wasn't exactly memorable for most NBA fans. During those years, the Spurs were headlining the news like the other teams in the NBA. The team wasn't winning as much when DeRozan donned the silver and black and being a small market team. Most of the crowd preferred watching the grander teams of the league. He was traded to the Bulls for Thaddeus Young, a future first round pick and two future second round picks. And Popovich did sing DeRozan's praises once his time in San Antonio was over. As a member of the Bulls, he made an all-star squad for the first time since his days in Toronto. 
Entering the final year of his three-year deal with the Chicago Bulls, DeMar DeRozan will be a free agent in the summer of 2024. DeMar DeRozan may be 34, but he's also coming off a year in which he averaged 24.5 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 5.1 assists, leading to speculation about his future with the Chicago Bulls. This feels like a now-or-never year for this Chicago Bulls core. They have run it back this season with Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and Nikola Vucevic, likely with Kobe White and Patrick Williams as the other starters, and want to see if this team can, at the very least, get back to the playoffs where they were two years ago. If not, Chicago has already tested the water of a Levine trade. What qualifies as successful enough to keep the team together and how deep they are willing to go into a rebuild may be different from the answers Bulls fans would give. The struggling Bulls might have to set their sights on the 2024 NBA trade deadline sooner than intended. Chicago likely will have plenty of trade suitors for six-time All-Star DeMar DeRozan, averaging 21.3 points this season and can become an unrestricted free agent next summer. If the Bulls trade DeRozan, he would prefer to be moved to the Heat or Knicks. Miami and New York are currently at the top of the Eastern Conference standings and plan to compete for a playoff spot where the trade deadline rolls around in February. Over a decade deep in the game, DeRozan's gone from being the main man the franchise faced to a bit of a basketball nomad. Now, he's out there looking for a spot to drop his anchor, a team to call this forever home. The clock's ticking for DeRozan, no doubt. He's eyeing the twilight of his career. But don't get it twisted. The man's still got game. He's like that vintage wine, only getting better with time. But here's the kicker. DeRozan's craving that elusive championship ring, something that's been playing hard to get. Imagine DeRozan bringing his slick scoring moves to a new squad, especially a team that's just a piece away from being real contenders. Could he be the missing puzzle piece for a championship run? Only time will tell. One thing's for sure, the DeRozan trade saga is turning out to be one heck of an NBA soap opera. We hope you enjoyed our video topic today. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, Feel free to suggest any topics you would like to see on this channel full court. Before we end this video, are you ready to showcase your love for the game and make a statement with premium merch? At Full Court, we believe basketball is more than just a game. It's part of our culture and identity. That's why we've curated a collection of merch that captures the essence of your favorite sports teams and players to celebrate the memories that unite us. And here's the best part. Full Court offers free worldwide shipping. No matter where you are, you can join our global community and showcase your passion for basketball. Visit our website, letsplayfullcourt.com and explore our merch. You can also find a link below this video in the description.